you ever wonder about a salamander lava and what are they doing in there? Watch them as they grow, as the legs start to show, even when the water ain't too clear. Salamander Chronicles. Salamander Chronicles. Salamander Chronicles. All right, so for today's salamander larva update, I wanted to talk about how I store or keep their food so that I can feed them whenever I need to. And um, I've explained in previous videos what feeding them really looks like is just swapping out water. So removing some of the current water and then putting in water from a fresh water source where I know there's microorganisms. So this is the jar that I keep them in. These are the tadpoles, but this is the jar that I keep their food in and water. So you can see there's a lot of sediment down at the bottom. I haven't bothered it too much. So those are actually um, small worms and whatever else. You can see all sorts of microorganisms swimming around, Daphnia, everything else. Um, there's a snail right there on the edge. So basically what you see is water I scooped out of the pond. I tried to get more water than mud. Um, you can see some of it I've already used and swapped out. Um, and I put a stocking on top so that if I did get any fly larva, mosquito larva, stuff like that, I wouldn't start flying around my house. Um, so I definitely recommend that. I wouldn't recommend making it airtight just because airtight never sounds like a good idea when you're trying to help something live. Um, but yeah, you can see um, little things. Let's see if I can get a good angle on the camera. Little things swimming around all over in here. So whenever I want to feed, there you go, you can kind of see them against the darker background. Whenever I want to feed the salamander larva, what I'll do is I'll just remove some water from there, dump it out, and then I'll just replace it with water in here. And what I'll usually do is I'll kind of knock the glass, give it a shake so that things start swimming around so that they all don't just hide in one spot. Um, but that's all I got for today is I just figured it'd be worth sharing. Um, for me, the biggest part of helping these guys um, just thrive in the habitat I'm keeping for them is making it as natural as possible. They're not, it's not like a goldfish in a goldfish bowl where you just want to sit and watch them all day and have perfectly clear water. Um, it's more about ensuring that they grow and develop and, uh, in my opinion, using natural water from a natural water source is a great way to do that. Just mimic the environment that, um, they, they would naturally live in. Um, so yeah, so that's it for today's update. One thing I do actually want to mention um, that's worth worth keeping in mind is I do not keep this in the window at all times. I keep it off to the side. So still in a, a lit area, but not direct sunlight. Direct sunlight um, for little tiny critters like Daphne or microorganisms might not be the best option. So I just keep it somewhere um, off to the side so it's not direct sunlight. But just wanted to add that to the end.